Hey everyone, welcome to Crypto Conversation. And in this video today, we're going to talk about how to add a custom token to your MyEther wallet. So now you must have experienced that when you participate in an ICO and the ICO sends out token, it does not reflect into your MyEther wallet on its own at times, right? So let me show you what I'm talking about. So you can see your Ethereum balance all the time. This is your address, right? And then you go to tokens, you, you click on show all tokens and then you don't see your token, the one that you've participated in ICO. And it actually reflects it on the website, on the web, on the page where you have must have participated in. So there is something called as add custom token and it does not come automatically. You have to add it. And that is what I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, there are three things required really to add a custom token and that is one is con token contract address, token symbol and decimals. Now this is all that you need in order to add that custom token to your MyEther wallet. And now there are various ways of finding it. So where can I find token address? Where can I find token symbol? Token symbol obviously you'll know. And what about the decimals, right? So I'm going to just take you through all of that. Now before that, I do want to say that always use just one my ether wallet now you can have multiple my ether wallet if you have multiple then it's little risky i would always recommend that you just have one my ether wallet only and use that to participate into different icos uh, why because you have to know that which address have you actually given them at the time of the participation in the icos so for example, if you have given this address and if you're just logging into another MyEther wallet and adding the custom token there, then they won't be able to send. They have to find the same address with which you have participated in the token sale. So for me to get the tokens on this MyEther wallet, I should have given them the ICO, this address only for them to give me the tokens on this MyEther wallet. If I have given some other my ether wallet address and if I am adding the custom token here, here it's not going to help. Also just to make sure that it's always better to participate in an ICO with my ether wallet. Uh, right and now most of them especially when it is an ERC20 tokens. ERC20 tokens. Now, now you might have a question how do we know whether it's an ERC20 token or it's, it's a normal one. So to avoid that confusion, let it be any ICOs, the best way to participate is using the MyEther wallet address, right? Uh, why? Because if you participate in an ICO and give them your send tokens with your Coinbase account or your CoinX account or CoinDelta uh, uh, Ethereum address, then they won't support tokens. It's only MyEther wallet and MetaMask guys again I'm repeating myself it's only my ether wallet and MetaMask that supports these ICO tokens so you should always use these two uh, these two addresses these two wallets only right especially when it is I mean you have no other choice when if it is ERC20 token that you have to get you have to use this and for other ICO also I would recommend use this because these are the safest one right now having said that let's go ahead and check how to add a custom token so the situation here is that you don't see your tokens here you have done everything possible uh, you don't see the tokens here right and then what you do is you don't see your tokens here you have checked everything from A to Z but your token is not reflecting over here right so how, what do you do first thing is like I said when you go to add custom address there are three things is required token contract address token symbol decimals now this thing this information the token contract address can also be found on the ICOs page Wh whichever page you have participated in let it be the yours let it be a Naga token let it be anything you can actually find them on the contract on the website also the other way of finding them is actually on etherscan etherscan.io now just to let you know if you have your my ether wallet address if you're using a my ether wallet and if you are if you have a habit of checking your tokens all the time or your balances all the time 
you don't really have to log into your my ether wallet also you can do that on ether scan without login i will show that later on first let's go ahead and check how to find a contract address for an ico so for example i go to ether scan i click on tokens here go to view tokens right when you click on view tokens you will see all the tokens that have been released all the ic20 token over here right so as you can see you have yours here you have qtum here you have omis go you have status network you have augur you have golem your basic connection token you have kyber you have 10x you have zero x project you have sentiment funfair tzix ethos civic storage genesis economy bancor decentraland ageless go on and on and on so for example let's say i want to add a qtum token so let's say let's assume a situation where your qtum is not showing up in my balances but i have participated in the token sale and i want to add that i want to add qtum token for my ether wallet what i'm supposed to do is click on qtum the moment you click it on click on this you will find three informations here so you'll find the contract address right here correct and you can find that for any token for example so for example you can also find it for uh, omisco you have the contract address right here right or you can also find it for uh, uh, colum i mean whichever token is not reflecting here and you want to add so let in in this case let's assume a scenario that q2 is not reflecting q2 is something that you want to add so you can take down code contract address from here paste it in the contract address the second thing is as a token symbol so qtum as you can see here qtum this is how they put it so you put qtum here right uh no i so it's q t u m right and then you have the third thing is asking you is decimals click here go to decimals copy this and that's it so these are the three information that you need you need the contract address that you can find it on the ether scan you can also find it on the ico page as well second you need the token symbol and the third one you need is a decimal over here so this information can also be found on the ico page and this can also be found on the ether scan now you simply click on save and this would token will get added in your token list and then it will start showing up at times the ico might take about 12 hours or about 5 hours sometimes to send you the tokens once you have added it in your my ether wallet right now so that is how you can add a custom token to your my ether wallet the other thing i was talking to you about how to check your balances without actually logging into my ether wallet now why is that important first of all why to check your balances without logging into my ether wallet guys i mean if you have seen my ether wallet is a very popular wallet and there have been a lot of uh, duplication on that same so at times you get a lot of phishing link where if you click your balances will be wiped out and things like that so you really don't want to take that risk of uh, logging into my ether wallet all the time you have to really keep that file safe the 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 uh, what is that called this, this json file that you call it right the key store file you have to really keep it safe and you have to remember your password and you don't want to take the risk of logging into all the time so the best way to check your balances without logging in is go to my ether scan it's called ether scan.io just put your my ether wallet address so for example this is the my ether wallet address that i can see here all i do is i just copy this and i paste it here and click on go and this will show me all the ethereum balance that i have in dollars and this will all show me the token also as you can see this is a demo address that i've just created to show you guys how it works it is right now it's zero correct so you can always check your balances without actually logging into my ether wallet right on the ether scan and i think that's the safest way to do it so i hope this was helpful if you have any question put this in the comment box below uh, i do want to say that remember that you are responsible for your funds if you have any question put that in the comment box below if you're not sure 
go ahead and watch other videos you have some videos on my third wallet also how to add how to add custom token and be sure before you take any action because these are cryptocurrencies assets and they cannot really be retrieved if you have made any mistake right having said that thank you so much for watching guys uh, i hope you liked it i hope you learned uh, I, i hope it helped in case if you have any any question put it in the comment box below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you like the content thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video